better than great. You prefer the real over the fake any day. Sure, a real pumpkin and a pumpkin spice latte is natural. Makes sense. Right? I agree. All right, pretty pleasant day today, comparatively speaking, right? Compared it, to It was to last not week. as hot. We did yeah. have more rain. We needed the rain. So this was all a good thing. And the truth is, we're going to continue with more of the good thing. We've got rain forecast for the next few days. So here is a look at what's happening. And as I showed you a moment ago, there's not much rain out there right now. But we are looking at the big picture, and there is a lot of tropical moisture to the south that's generally moving to the north northeast. In the morning, I am expecting rain to develop along the coast. Then we can look to the north. We've got a front up there. This is where there is a severe weather risk as we go into tomorrow. Not a big concern for us, but that front is going to be heading to the south, and it's going to help our rain chances go up as we go through time. So as we look at what's happening kind of upstairs, we've got this upper level low over Mexico. That's causing moisture to move north. An upper level high over the south central Gulf. That too is causing moisture to move to the north. So with the moisture, a little bit of heating, we're going to have rain. Then we can go out in the tropics. And here we're watching an area of low pressure. Hurricane Center is now saying as you go out three to five days, it's an 80% chance of tropical development. That's a high chance. So we can look at this system. We are seeing a broad area of low pressure. We look for that convection to develop right around the center. That's not quite happening yet. It is over warm water. You can see, of course, the upper levels. Look at how it's forecast to move over here towards the dry air. We can look at what's happening to the systems as they move into the dry air. They kind of get knocked down. And there are strong upper level winds to the northwest. Here here is a look at that warm water, and then we can check out the global forecast model. This is a pretty good model, and it shows the system moving to the west, and eventually it heads kind of towards the northern leeward island. So if you're planning a vacation there, going out in time, just keep in mind there is that potential. None of that written in stone. You can look at the wide variation in these models. There is a big spread because there is no closed low-level circulation. You really need that to get a good idea of where our system is going to go. This is, of course, the anniversary of Camille. It was making landfall going into the evening and into the morning, and it was just complete disaster with winds of 175 miles per hour in that 25-foot storm surge. Here we're looking at tomorrow high temperatures, upper 80s to the low 90s. I've raised our rain chances to a 60% chance. Then as you go into Wednesday, it's a pretty similar forecast. I actually think Thursday could be worse as this weak frontal boundary moves to the south. You can see how that rain increases high temperatures in the upper 80s. Michelle was waiting for the bus when we had that rain this morning, but after the rain in Port Fouchon, Joe Pugh says, what a rainbow. The Bayou Sunset was beautiful from Emma. At the fly, Raymond was passing a good time. Sailing away, says Cooter Brown. But this is what it looked like tonight at Bay St. Louis. A big difference from 1969 when Camille was making that landfall. As we look at your forecast in the afternoon, high chance of rain. But we're going to have that rain along the coast in the morning as well. Wednesday and Thursday, high rain chances. Going into Friday, your rain chances go down. Of course, you know what that means. Your rain chances going down, the temperatures going up. Through the weekend, about a 30% chance. Highs in the low to the mid-90s. I kind of like the cooler weather with the rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you too. Thanks, Margaret.